Good morning everybody. Today is an extremely cold day and not only cold day, it is really windy. Really, really windy. I can see this shutter has been disassembled during the night, so I have to go first thing. I have to go and close it or to, to hold it open. Yeah. And the basket flew away in the garden. The rest of the garden looks just fine. That's amazing. Up Maria is a ray of sunshine on this grey day. <laughs> oh, my backpack is extremely heavy as well as a basket. Today in my thermo I have hot mushroom soup. <laughs> the right choice for that cold day and um, I will work hopefully hard at <laughs> the house today. I was filming for for other for the special episode and I got so scared. I think I have to go back home. I got so scared. Anyway, it is really windy today, so it's it's many different no noises here at the house and then I saw this thing under the bed which looked like a, like dead animal or oh, that was scary anyway sign of respect <laughs> and then i remember we walked here and i saw straight away oh my god shit oh that was scary that was really scary oh my god oh that was really scary oh, oh my god i don't know why that was so scary I will try to show you and explain. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my God, can you see that? That looks like somebody's hand or paw. Oh my God. Oh, I lost. <laughs> I think I lost. <laughs> that was so scary. But what is this noise? I think it's a good idea to go back home. Oh my god! But it is not it's just some kind of garbage there, but at some point I saw it 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 is some dead animal or dead somewhat because actually we, we we never looked under the bed. Oh my god. <laughs> well <laughs> uh oh, I have to breathe. Oh that was scary. So I remember we walked in this room and yeah, of course, oh, this is really scary. Look at that. It's just a piece of paper, but from, from the distance, that looks like a hand. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I remember we saw this. I'm still like looking. Is it chasing me, this thing? No, no one chasing me. I have to close the shutter because, yeah, during the night it just opened. And uh, this one in. Oh, this is so windy. Oh, no, no. Um, to close it. But if I close it, it's gonna be dark here. And I'm scared. Oh, what, what shall I do? What shall I do? I'm too scared. Too scared because it will be dark. And I don't want to be in darkness. Mm. I'm scared. Okay, I have to be quick. So I close the, the shutter and I run away. Oh. Oh, and I have to run away. I have to close window as well. Oh, it's gonna be fine. No one is chasing me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm going down. <laughs> I think this is the first time I was really scared at the house. Like, really scared. It's all fine. <laughs> okay, I have to start working. Then I forget about everything. And my project for today will be... Oh, actually, I haven't shown you. 
uh, the progress in the corridor with the ceiling. And those of you who, who wrote on the comments that I did complete it, the corridor project. project. We are right. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I spent last hour removing all the ceiling here on this part of the ceiling. And um, there are still some boards left, but these are difficult to remove. So Sergio will help me with that. But I'm really pleased with the result. Look at that. It's all nice and clean. And not only I removed all the ceiling, I packed everything and I tidied it up. So it's all nice and clean. I can safely walk here. So all great. And yeah, next priority project is actually we have two priority projects now one is to throw away all the garbage and it's about 60 bags heavy bags full of crumble and bricks and plaster and stuff uh, this is project for saturday and then the other project is to remove this ceiling uh, but before doing this, we have to remove the, to move this furniture to other room, and the only room uh, is suitable for this on this floor is the cantina. And before moving furniture, we have to clear cantina. <laughs> uh, so I think this is what I'm gonna do today. Yeah, yeah. Or if I'm too scared, I just come here and I cover furniture and I start demolishing ceiling here. I haven't decided yet. Ah! Oh my God! Why is happening today? Oh, I don't understand. Oh my God! It is so spooky today at the house. I don't understand. Everything falling down. We have noises and things. Oh, I don't like it. Well, obviously, it's just things falling down like like little crumbles. Ah, I don't like it. Anyway, I have decided to work in the cantina. Uh, yeah, because we have to move furniture here, and it would be just uh, just a good idea to start work here. And also, this project has to be done together with all the demolishing on the basement floor, just to do all the dusty jobs now and not coming back to dusty things later so i will start with this project also i have to change my subject i can't work two days with the ceiling it's just too hard for my back and for my arms so yeah reasonable thing is to start works in the cellar and i'll start with the hammer drill we'll be removing just old uh, plaster and cement bit and old pointing not really much and then we will repoint it with good uh, lime based water and pointing so this is the project already looks so much better so so much better So far, my progress looks like that. You can see the difference here and here. So 
it's not perfectly clean but it's the start of the project that's good and to be honest it's not really dusty as the mortar is really wet um, it's pure sand and oh it looks like it's just sand <laughs> But this is what it has to be. It has to breathe and allow moisture to travel. And the part is where we have um, cement. Not today, because today is a windy day, but usually you can uh, see moisture on the top of the cement. So this is not good. We have to use a um, mix of lime and sand here in cantina, so it will breathe and be healthy. Um, it goes really well and I do enjoy this project, so I think that would be really good if I could do this piece today. So yeah, I will go now from this wall there and I will go like that. We'll see how much can I do today. And it is already half past five, it's really dark outside, you can see it's really dark. And yeah, I don't want to stop. <laughs> I think let me take off my mask. I hope you can hear me, but I think uh, there is something really interesting here in the cantina. Uh, excuse me. Oh, wait, wait a second. I think I have found something really, really cool. Um, and actually, I don't know what is that and uh, I won't open the whole thing I will just clear the the mortar so we can open it together with Sergi but this is so cool as I go from this this corner here and I'm removing the the mortar and pieces of old plaster so I have found this bricked Part, which is obviously there is a niche because when I work with my tool um, it's empty on the other side so and you can see the border here and also I this is oh my god I can see more things here because it's all so this I can see now here it goes like that like that like this and then you can see the stones they kind of mm, like fallen down a little bit and they they make this little bump in the middle of the wall and what is there i don't understand also i'm not sure because i can see a crack going like that as a little vault here also i can see another crack going like that like another vault i don't know I don't know what is that but well there is this hole which we looked inside and it is drain hole and there are rubbish there inside and there is water something dripping out of there but then i don't understand what is there behind this wall wow it's so cool i will carefully remove the plaster and i will leave it until tomorrow so we can can look at it tomorrow together with Sergi. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Wow.
it's going really well the project and I can't stop even though my back is killing me and this is really surprising but it is uh, much easier to, to work with the ceiling I don't know why even though my my arm hurts so much but when you work with the walls and the little jackhammer the, the hum, little hammer drill well it is much worse for your back than removing the ceiling I don't know why anyway um, just seeing the progress here uh, yeah I'm just getting so excited and this is one of the most important rooms in the house after kitchen and the bathroom so yeah I'm so happy to start it and it looks really really cool look at that you can see here we still have old mortar and plaster and here exposed stones they're really beautiful and I have decided why don't I have a glass of wine to celebrate this project but to, to get some wine I'll take you with me because today something happening at the house it is really spooky <laughs> uh, oh my god no why why is that happening to me every shade scares me today at some point I was scared by this <laughs> black hole. I knew there was hole here. What is happening? Mystery. And I need a glass. Though where are the glasses? Here they are. Oh of course I need a tray. Who doesn't? <coughs> and I need a lovely glass like that oh 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 that was close that one goes back there okay the glass is here the wine actually i think the better idea is to have um some soup <laughs> because i'm really hungry and i haven't had any food yet so i think seven o'clock is a proper time for lunch I will need this definitely. So let's go and have first food slash drink at the cantina. <laughs> and it, look, it is dark already. The lights are on in the garden. Yeah, getting back there. Ooh, and here is my basket with my delicious soup. I'm taking it with me. Ta -da 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 it is not scary at all. Na -na 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 -na. Ooh, look at this! So good! Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, I have to set up myself a little place. And my little corner. <laughs> Hopefully next time I'm having lunch here, um, it will look much better. All the stones will be exposed, like here, nice and clean. And the old plaster and pointing will be gone. So. Okay, cheers everyone to the new project and to the wine cellar of Villa de Oro with the mushroom soup. <laughs> cheers! I love it so much. I'm just sitting here and making it all done. Pointing finished with lovely light uh, mortar and wines here everywhere on the shelves. Beautiful vaulted ceiling, we plaster it with nice plaster. Oh, it will be so good, so good. I love it here.
one of the most important things in cantina uh, is the window which uh, can never be closed it has to be open for the good ventilation that keeps that airflow keeps cantina healthy and um, usually in cantina you we will have moist coming from somewhere in a wall or the floor uh, and this is normal this is good this is why this uh, room is built uh, it's not livable room it's a storage it's a cellar room to keep the wines and preservatives and uh, um, cheese sausages <laughs> to queue uh, in the cellar in the cantina this is why it has to have moist and good ventilation if you close the window then um, it the mold will grow and everything will just be spoiled so we have a very good and healthy cantina every look uh, all local people who enter the cantina they notice that the smell is good and everything is fine in our cantina i'm really happy to hear that and yeah um let me try like that can you see my breath it is really cold, but to be honest, uh, I was sweating today working because yeah, this suit is really keeps me warm and I'm moving, so it's all fine. It's much better working here at the house with, uh, than staying back in the apartment because it's really cold as well in the apartment, but in the apartment you can't move that much. So we are freezing there and we are really hot here working in the house, so I love it and um actually it's time to go home but uh, now i'm looking at this wall and i think i have to finish it today because that will keep me um awake all night thinking about this wall so um i think how about uh working half an hour more and then if i see that if that goes really quick so i finish it if i see that it's going quite slow so i leave it for tomorrow and uh, what is left to do is this part. You can see that, 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 and that. Yep. So, oh, I really want to do that and move to this wall. This is what I want to do. If I could stay here all night, I would do that definitely. <laughs> then also another feature in this cantina is this hole in the floor. And uh, I have to actually have to put... Uh, red ribbon around it just to make sure no one falls down there it has the metal thing there but i saw it from inside and it is totally rusted <laughs> so and what we are thinking to do with this hole is to install in future a spiral staircase to go down into underground cantina which is um, quite a big room here underneath i've shown it in other in previous episodes and uh, the spiral staircase would be so good going down into underground cantina and then that cantina another little cantina here with vaulted ceiling and water dripping from from the ceiling um so yeah that would be a really cool plan and uh, yeah i'll get i'll continue the project and then i'm i'll go home <laughs> And I did finish this wall. There are bits, tiny little bits here by the edge, but I can't really reach them today. It's too tired. So yeah, I don't have much time. I won't clear today. I will clear the garbage tomorrow and I'm going home. So yeah, it's enough for today, definitely.